Constitution Day. It's Constitution Day. What's Constitution Day? What's the Constitution? Constitution Day commemorates the signing of the Constitution on September 17th, 1787. My favorite part of the Constitution would be that there's three co-equal branches. Um, chapter 1 or Article 1 of the Constitution establishes the powers of the legislature. Um, Article 2 of the Constitution establishes the powers of the presidency. And then Article 3 of the Constitution establishes the, ju uh, the judicial branch, which means the, um, the ability to interpret the law. My favorite part of the Constitution is probably the Bill of Rights. AP students wanting to take the AP exams need to register through RevTrack by Friday, October 2nd. If you qualify for free or reduced lunch, email Mrs. Dole at dolet at whalenunion.org for the correct ordering link. College rep visits begin next week with University of Michigan and Grand Valley State University. You must sign up ahead of time in the guidance office using the QR code on the door. Seniors, did you see the bulletin board by the guidance office with all the baby pictures on it? It's not too late to bring yours in. It can be a baby picture, senior photo, or even pictures with you and your friends throughout the years. Just turn them into the guidance office. For me, the, the most remarkable thing about the Constitution is it was written in 1787 when times were a lot different. And here we are in, in 2020, and this, it's still governing our country today. But it's only really been changed 27 times. Um, so it is, you know, the, the hallmark of what our founding fathers wanted to do, and it is still in place today. My favorite part of the Constitution is when they stay promote the general welfare because it shows that the government is concerned for the safety and health of others. Good morning, Wayland students. To those of you who have ordered your book, this, right here, this thing, that I have spent money on, please come down to the media center to pick it up. Please. You have spent money on it and you have earned it. Today for lunch is Chicken Bowl! Get out your side tickets because the prize store will be opening next week. Regular store hours will be Thursday and Friday during both lunches. Students are to remain seated in their seats at lunchtime until they are dismissed. The only times they are able to get up and moving is to get more food or to use the restroom. Key Club is starting back up this year. Key Club is dedicated to helping the school and community through different projects and events. The first meeting will be held over Zoom on Wednesday, September 30 at 2.30 p.m. To receive the Zoom link, scan the QR code on the Key Club bulletin board in the cat stand or outside Ms. Eel's room. If you have any questions, contact any of the board members listed on the bulletin board. Are you interested in sustainability and protecting our environment? If so, check out Eco Club. Our projects will include sustainability initiatives, conservation programs, and promoting more eco-friendly practices among students. Meetings will be Mondays after school for students A through L and Tuesday after school for students M through Z. If you're interested or have any questions, you can stop by Ms. Moritz's room, A103, or contact the emails listed. My favorite part about the Constitution is the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. The First Amendment. The 19th Amendment. Probably the First Amendment, so we can actually talk and discuss and argue about things that we don't agree with or protest, too. Sports results. Girls varsity volleyball lost to Catholic Central. The girls swim and dive were finally able to get back into the water and complete and compete at Grand Haven on Tuesday night. The meet also included the Division Three powerhouse team of Holland Christian. The Lady Wildcats showed strength in many individual and relay events. Top performances by Riley Van Popering, Jordan Dressler, and Taylor Wolf. Great job, ladies. Uh, boys JV soccer lost to TK. Boys varsity soccer lost to TK. Boys varsity tennis lost to Forest Hills Eastern. Sports for today. Girls freshman volleyball home versus Cedar Springs, 5 o'clock. Girls JV volleyball home versus Cedar Springs, 5 o'clock. Girls varsity volleyball home versus Cedar Springs, 6.30. Boys JV soccer home versus Forest Hills Eastern, 5 o'clock. Boys varsity soccer home versus Forest Hills Eastern, 6.45. And boys JV football away at Catholic Central, 6.30. That's all for sports for today. Happy Constitution Day. And the preamble goes like this. We the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings.
blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity do ordain and establish this constitution.